I tried my best. Now what? This is a question that many people ask themselves after they have put a lot of effort into something, but they are not sure what to do next. Maybe they have completed a project, a task, a goal, or a challenge, and they are wondering how to evaluate their performance, how to celebrate their achievements, how to learn from their mistakes, or how to move on to the next thing. There is no one right answer to this question, but there are some possible steps that can help. First, it is important to acknowledge and appreciate the effort that you have put into your work. You have done your best, and that is something to be proud of. You have shown dedication, perseverance, and resilience, and you have overcome obstacles and challenges along the way. You have learned new skills, gained new knowledge, and grown as a person. You have contributed to something meaningful and valuable, whether it is for yourself, for others, or for the world. You deserve to recognize and celebrate your hard work and your accomplishments. Second, it is helpful to reflect on your work and your outcomes. You can ask yourself some questions, such as, what did I do well? What did I enjoy? What did I find difficult? What did I struggle with? What did I learn? What surprised me? What challenged me? What can I improve? How did I cope with stress, frustration, or failure? How did I handle feedback or criticism? How did I collaborate with others? How did I manage my time and resources? How did I balance my work with other aspects of my life? These questions can help you identify your strengths and weaknesses, your successes and failures, your joys and pains, and your insights and lessons. Third, it is useful to seek feedback from others who are relevant to your work. You can ask them for their opinions, perspectives, suggestions, or advice on your work. You can listen to their praise, appreciation, recognition, or encouragement. You can also listen to their critique, criticism, complaints, or concerns. You can use their feedback to validate your own assessment of your work, to learn from their experiences or expertise, to improve your skills or knowledge, to correct your mistakes or errors, or to resolve any issues or conflicts. Fourth, it is beneficial to plan for the future based on your work and your feedback. You can decide what you want to do next with your work. You can continue it if it is ongoing or unfinished. You can revise it if it needs improvement or correction. You can share it if it is ready for publication or presentation. You can apply it if it has practical implications or applications. You can expand it if it has potential for further development or exploration. You can end it if it is completed or exhausted. You can also decide what you want to do next with yourself. You can pursue new opportunities or challenges that are related or unrelated to your work. You can set new goals or objectives that are realistic or ambitious. You can learn new things or skills that are relevant or interesting. You can take a break or rest if you need to recover or recharge. In conclusion, when you ask yourself,